Hello there, welcome everybody. My name is Don and we've got another project for you to make, a little bit bigger uh, project for you this time. Um, it's a hand guillotine. guillotine. Um, I've made one in the past, in fact it was the very first video I ever made, uh, but this is an, another type of hand guillotine. So I'll tr try, if I can, to, um, to show you how it works. So if you'll excuse me, I'll have to get up. So we've got the blade passing through the three holes like so. And if we put our wrist through the hole there and bring the blade down, we can pass it straight through my wrist. Okay. I, think, I don't know if that worked or not because I'm the wrong side of the camera. I'm not usually work, used to working that side of the camera. But anyway, that, that's the, the gist of the uh, uh, apparatus. So uh, the rest of the video will be how to go about making it. It can get a little bit complicated, but uh, if you uh, follow closely, you should be able to make one for yourself. Uh, okay, so let's get on with the video then, and I'll show you exactly how I made it. So, as usual, I'm going to use 2mm thick cardboard. Um, ideally, for something this size, it needs really to be made from plywood or MDF or chipboard maybe. <clears throat> uh, but then your problems really start, having to cut it and shape it. Um, this is so much easier with 2mm card. I think we can just about get away with it. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so we need two pieces. And they need to be uh, 10 inches by 13 and a half inches. Or 26 centimeters by 34 centimeters. 26, 34. And we need two pieces like this. Okay, so what we need first of all is the pivot point. So it's... The pivot point where the blade is going to cut down like that. So we need this point here. And I've made it uh, six and a quarter inches up from the bottom, or 16 centimeters, and one and a half inches from the edge, or four centimeters. So once we've got that point there, we can measure everything from that point. If you've got a pair of compasses, stick your compass into that point, wiggle it about, because it's unlikely that you've got such a large pair of compasses that we can get right to the other side to draw our arc. So what we need is a piece of scrap cardboard. Um, it needs to be about nine inches long, and it we need two holes and they need to be eight and three quarters or 25 and a half centimeters between centers. So drill one hole, measure 21 and a half centimeters, drill the other hole. Okay, and we can use that then as our compass. So stick that in the hole we've drilled and that into the hole that we've made with the compass and then we can draw that arc like that nice and easy okay so that's the all-important shape we need at the other side of the guillotine uh, then we need um, a line at a, at a around about a 45 degree angle up there doesn't really matter somewhere up there so again when we put this on our pivot point it's, this is where the blade is going to start and it's going to come past this hole where your wrist is and past this hole and end up about there. Okay, so now we've got our 45 degree line up there. Then we need a couple of holes, doesn't matter what size, doesn't really matter where they are, just so that we can see the blade just so that we can see the blade as it passes through. And then we need a three inch diameter hole, which is around about the size of a human hand. If you're younger, maybe smaller, 
uh, but uh, 75, uh, seven and a half centimeters diameter from there to there. Okay, so that, that seems to be the optimum size for a wrist, three inches, 70, seven and a half centimeters. So once we've got, and then uh, any hole at the bottom there, wherever you like, so that when it, when you, when you pass through this hole where your wrist is, the blade ends up and you're, you're able to see it. When there's a hole there, you'll see it. Then just make the bottom whatever shape you like. Use anything you've got in the kitchen, a saucer, a plate, uh, any, any implement at all that you can make a, a nice shape at the bottom. If I show you the other one, then that's the kind of shape I've made there. And that's the kind of shape I've made at the bottom there. And yes, I have made two mistakes. So, um, uh, well, I've made the mistake, so you don't have to. <laughs> but it won't matter because this will be behind and you won't see it. Uh, so I've got this one to cut out, all this shape, and I'll have two, two pieces looking like that. And the reason this is at the bottom like that, I've got, I've made two feet for it to stand on. Uh, they're not a particularly uh, elegant design, uh, so maybe you could think of something different or some way of making it stand, stand up, so it's freestanding, basically. Okay, so I'll cut the other one out. So we've got two the same, and then uh, then we'll do the next bit. So you should have two pieces of card like that that we've uh, marked out and cut out with all our holes in. And if we put the two pieces together, then if we put a blade in between using this same pivot point, we've got a ready-made guillotine. Okay, so it would be simple to make a just an ordinary guillotine. Uh, but of course, it's got to be a little bit more elaborate than that to make it into an illusion. So, rather than a ruler, we need something like this. And this is all one piece of card. So, uh, we've got the distance from the pivot point, which will be the same, same pivot point there, to the edge, which will be the same edge there, <laughs> and then the length of the handle. So it's all one one piece. Uh, so we can start off by drawing the blade, which is an inch and a quarter wide, uh, three centimeters. But you can make it as wide as you like; it doesn't really matter. Um, and then with the uh, temporary <laughs> the temporary compass that we used on the uh, the first two pieces, we can mark the same arc like that and that will give us that shape and then uh, this will come down here and then cut out this uh, triangular shape in the middle there okay so now we've got our blade we need to cut it and we can cut it at a point like that so that it will slot back in when we push it across like that it will slot back in and then it will slide back away from the hole where our arm is or our wrist so that's what we need for to happen and we've, we've got the bottom part of the uh, handle which is all part which is all part of the same piece of card and then just put uh, some uh, pieces of card either side the same width as our card two millimeters plus a bit so that it's got some clearance uh, that will go in there and I, I've put just a little bit of um, barbecue stick in there so that when we put the other half of the handle on like that when that's glued in place we can do that that's that's what we need to do okay and this will then sit inside there I, I, i've got it on the front but it, it will go in between these two so it'll be like that 
okay and then when we put our arm in we can pull that out <laughs> and then push it back in again okay I know it's a bit of a mess because it all needs uh, assembling uh, but I think you get the idea well I hope you do anyway <laughs> okay so I'll I'll put it all together I can I can stick my handle together and uh, put it in between the two and uh, we'll see it as a working um, thing and then uh, I'll give it a painting and I'll be back in just one moment and we'll see what it looks like then okay so I assembled the whole thing now and this is uh, the end product so you can see the effect that that knife has now and we can see the three holes that it goes through that's this is what the audience will see from the front I've just sprayed it gray and painted the handle and the feet black that's all uh, but the audience will see this from the front but for for you at the back so we've got the handle now with the we can pull the blade out and back in again so when we get to this point our wrist well I'll put my wrist in when we get to this point we can even go as far as almost halfway through the hole but if we lift lift our hand just a little that will hide the fact that the blade is being retracted and carried on through to the bottom then all it is is push that back through and we can lift the whole knife back up again okay so that that's basically the trick that part pu pushing that in and out um, I, I, I didn't make a terrific job of the uh, of this but it needs to be a, a little more secure than that uh, but apart from that it seems to be working okay but that that's the basic gist of the trick so there we are one hand guillotine mark two if you're interested, I've, I've done a similar, well, not similar, but another subject of a hand guillotine, the very first video I ever made. So if you look at my list of videos, uh, scroll right down to the very beginning, you'll see the first one that I made. So this is uh, Mark II. Okay, so I'll leave it with you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, as usual, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, all will be well. So I'll see you in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching this and bye for now.